Hi guys, let's look at ranking in Microsoft Access reports. In my previous videos, I took you through how to do ranking in Microsoft Excel and also in Microsoft Access forms. Today, I want us to do ranking on forms. So guys, I have the following data. So I have the following uh, tables, that is, uh, this is the table I have. So my table has the house number, it has the dorm name or the hostel name, admission number, student name, max, and percentage. But guys, if I click on the percentage, you'll notice that in the caption area here, I want it displayed as percentage, and for the max, I want it displayed as row max. So guys, we proceed and create a report. So I hit on the, that is on the uh, positions table then go to create then this time round I click on the first option here that is reports so Microsoft access will produce for me a report so guys here I need to uh, create a I need to create a field or an unbound control for positioning purposes so I first of all edit my report as I wish. So guys, first of all, I reduce the DOM name, the DOM name here, to fit in A4. Then also the admission number, I think I need to do, even the student name, I need to reduce a bit so that the, my report can be a nice one. So also this one, max, this one can, this one for the max, just reduce it I don't even need to have it so we have this one so this one's I first of all again edit my report to be vivid so this is what I have guys the next thing is to um, add uh, is to uh, to do the necessary so we, we shall start by first of all doing something called uh, group and sort so that our marks can be organized or arranged from the Largest to the smallest for clarity purposes. So I go to this point, group and sort. Then down here you get group, sort, and total. So I click on group, uh, group. I needed to choose the field to group. I want to group it using percentage mark. Then here you can see from smallest to the largest. Click the down arrow and change from largest to the smallest. Then there will be uh, a page uh, mark header so just pull this upwards like that then after doing that you can first of all save and uh, let us rest call it positions save and run so that you can see guys that um, my list mark is 10 and my highest mark is 80 so it will be now very easy for me to rank so guys go to design view of this field once you do that you can do go to uh, design view then once you do that you can just uh, I think also need to pull this up you can just go to property sheet here or the design tools click on a B that is the text box and then you can draw it on the detail guys remember we draw it on the detail not any other position so this is the point Again, I format this one to be borrowed and vivid. Go back to design tool. We had used a B or the textbook uh, text box. This time around, we shall use the label. So the label is drawn onto the page header, not in the report header, but in the page header. So this one is our position. Is our position position stroke rank. Then again, do the necessary. Make it a uh, half similar features with the other one just go to format uh, give it the necessary uh, adjustments then after you do that uh, you just go to this point here type equals one then click outside click on it again go to property sheet uh, report design property sheet then you go to data once you go to data you will notice that um, we have guys we have this point in we have uh, we have a running sum control source equals to one running sum it's written to no so just change to overall yeah running sum overall 
then save your stuff and then cross the property sheet then you can now just run guys you can see ranking has been done so that is the easiest method of performing ranking in microsoft access remember the first step is to uh, sort data in ascending order you add something called group and sort then you go to uh, design view you add an unbound control that is the text box inside the text box you type equals one then go to property sheet go to data go to running sum and change from no to overall so guys that's how you can perform a ranking using the easiest method without programming that is in microsoft access guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't done that one for me and also like and share my videos with your friends thank you